There are many resources inside the SOLIDWORKS application, many of which can be easily accessed from the SOLIDWORKS task pane. This is the string of tabs that we see here on the right hand side. Now keep in mind this can be hidden or shown by going to the view menu and choosing task pane. In the task pane, the first tab, SOLIDWORKS resources, contains many useful links for getting started with SOLIDWORKS, accessing performance and administration functions, and access to the community to take a look at what's the latest version of SOLIDWORKS available, accessing the forum, and other partner products. There are additional tabs here for accessing your design libraries, exploring the files on your computer, and tools to aid in drawing creation, 3D rendering, and appearances, as well as managing custom properties. Of course, this interface can be customized, and many SOLIDWORKS add-ins take advantage of this. For instance, let's take a look at SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. When we turn this on, we get a new tab. So, additional add-ins, other programs can add on to the SOLIDWORKS user interface, really enabling any type of access and links outside the application to other programs or interfaces. Additionally, we can configure and customize the SOLIDWORKS resources tab. To do so, navigate to your SOLIDWORKS installation directory. Now keep in mind this may be different depending on how the SOLIDWORKS application was installed. But inside that SOLIDWORKS folder, go to Data, Task Pane, SOLIDWORKS Resources. Inside here, you have a solidworksresources.html. This file can be modified and updated to add any other sections or user interface links that you may want. So hopefully this helps you understand how to get into some of these introductory SOLIDWORKS resources, how to show the task pane if you aren't seeing it, as well as some options to configure and customize your SOLIDWORKS interface.